Hi. You want to meet your new sister today? You want to meet your new sister? You excited? I know what you want. There we go. Okay, I'll leave you alone. You ready? Alright, let's do this. I think this lipstick is weird. Yeah. So recently, Ziva's sisters have both passed away. And we got this. When we had Sandy put to sleep. They carved her name in there. We got the paw prints and the tail print. Everybody at the vet's office signed this card for us and then her cremains are in here and then Cece was buried over here we had a funeral for her and I don't think they sprouted up but we planted some flowers that we got from the vet's office some wild flowers um, I kind of just know where it is because the ground's a little bit uneven here now. But Ziva's all alone and we need to get her a sister because rats aren't supposed to be alone. And she's been getting a little bit withdrawn lately and it just doesn't seem healthy. So we went to a couple pet stores yesterday and none of them have rats for some reason. So they directed us to go to the SPCA. So that's what we're doing today. I brought you some candies. See, hey. I don't play by the rules. Is that box on the oh, Yeah, I know box what you meant. I use the backup camera without looking over my shoulder. And I'm driving on the lawn. Mm -hmm. I probably like shouldn't do that. So, would you be open to a hairless rat? Yes. You think they're cute? Um, yeah. I used to not like them, but... Hairless cats, but... They're really cute. Yeah. As long as it's nice. And if it's hairless, then it'll cuddle with me. Yeah, they are kind of cute. I want my hairless rat. I'm excited. When I was 16 years old, I had a, a Saturn, and I hit these train tracks right here, probably going about 50. I think I was being a little bit irresponsible, and the tire went flying off my car. It was actually a really bad accident. Remember when the tire went that way? Yeah. Like a lot of years ago? And that was on my Honda. Island. Have you heard it? Yep. Florida, I've had, Florida. I've had a lot of cars that have lost tires oh, while in motion. Missed it. Yeah, and we just drove right past the SPCA. Do it. Oh, oh no. that's not cool. Bill, there's like body parts. Oh, that's so gross. It doesn't look like they're open. The doors are locked. There's no cars here in the parking lot. They ripped off the putting farm sign up there and the SPCA sign over there. They didn't answer the phone, but no, I'll call them. It turns out that uh, they have a new location about a half hour away and it looks like they shut this one down. I had no idea, so we're gonna stop by there and hope they're open. Because when I called them just now, it just rang and rang and rang, and then it went to voicemail. Um, hopefully, it's because they're busy and can't answer the phone and not actually close. Because I'm gonna be upset if I have to spend an hour and a half driving just to not be able to go in. But it's early enough. I think they should still be open. 
So we've been driving for a really long time now. It's been like seven minutes. And unfortunately, we have to head like straight into the hood. They moved the, the new SPCA to a very, very undesirable location. I really don't like to go even in this general direction. So this kind of sucks. And we have a, another 23 minutes ahead of us. And then probably a half hour there, half hour drive back. I just want to get home. So the traffic has been really bad and it's been well over a half hour now. And you know that we're in a bad neighborhood because the streets are all named after states or impeached presidents. So it's just a very uncomfortable area. There's very one of those. Here we go. SPCA. It's so big. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a barn. Look at the doggy. This camera won't focus. <laughs> What do you think of the dogs? They're really cute. Do you know what that one's name was? The one that I really like? Janine. Janine. So there's one really cute dog there. I only thought one of them was cute. But we went to the SPCA and they don't have any rats. So we drove like 45 minutes and if they would have just answered the phone, we wouldn't have wasted our time coming out to this ghetto I don't know what you call it, it's just a bad area. But the SPCA was really nice, so that was a good experience. Yeah, they they remodeled the SPCA with donor money, and the inside of it looks really nice right now. Anyways, we called a couple pet stores, and Petco and Pet Supplies Plus... Whoops. Pet Smart and Pet Supplies Plus. Yeah, Pet Smart and Pet Supplies Plus don't have rats they actually don't carry them anymore which is strange because my whole life as far as I've known they what is going on my whole life they've always had rats I've always seen rats there and that's where I've gotten most of my rats so we called around we even called a couple locations that are farther away and there's just no rats anywhere so we called an aquarium it's actually right around the block from where we live and they have rats and they're female so we did not need to drive out here. Well, since we did myself at Tim Hortons. <laughs> Don't get distracted with the fish. We're about to get rats from an aquarium. Or we're about to get a rat from an aquarium. And hopefully, hopefully they're not feeder rats. Um, Katie kind of pointed that out. I didn't think they would be, but the more I thought about it, it is like an aquarium. I could see them having snakes there only because he said probably when you said female. yeah i said are there female rats so, he said probably i'm assuming and it's a big bunch here it of is snakes. oh it's a pet shop okay there's a bird out there we should get a pond look at this pond wouldn't that be so cool in the backyard nope there are fish in this nasty black water Oh wow, those are some big fish. You're a big old goldfish. Yeah, you are. It'll touch your finger, I swear. Just leave it there, watch them come up. Yeah, I know you're afraid. How boring this must be. Just swim around all day. I love it. Have no idea what's going on. They know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. They don't care. 
That's a big one. That's the biggest one. He might actually. I don't know. He's the biggest. Hi. <laughs> they don't want to be bothered. So we got a rat, and it's a hairless rat, so it's super cute. And he's a little baby, but that's the problem is that it's a he. And we have a she. Yeah. Um, you can't obviously mix males and females. But it's our first son! <laughs> I guess it is. But look how cute he is. We couldn't just, like, leave without him. There's no way. You were walking around the store with him. You weren't walking away with him or without him. So... Now we have the options to either get oh. another male and another female and have four rats or get him neutered or castrated. For the record, we have had three, so I think it's okay. So that's where we're at right now. We'll, we'll bring him that's home. That's where we're at right now. And we're gonna try to integrate the rats together on some neutral ground and see how, see how Ziva takes to them. And we gotta name this little guy too. Oh, it's on the other side. So, rat people are probably going to be upset with me. Upset with us, I should say. Because we did this together. But first, we took Ziva. I'm sorry. First, we took the new kid and we put him in this box here. And then we took Ziva, this little rascal right here, and we put her in the box as well. And they spent a little bit of time sniffing each other's crotches and kind of just jumping around. Oh, see? So we need to get him out of her cage, out of her territory, because she's starting to get a little bit aggressive, and that's not okay. Look how scared he is. I know, my strum test. All right, so I'll take him out and play with him. Well, Katie gets the you other one set off. You just told me I couldn't touch him, and now you're gonna hang out with well, him. Well, I, come here, little buddy. Don't be afraid. I kind of hope you were attaching. Hey, hey, hey. That is not nice. She went after him? She kind of just like jutted in that general direction. See, now he's scared here. Come here, buddy. Come on. See, he's scared, but it's okay. He's going to be a tough guy. Okay, come on, little buddy. Come on. You're okay. No one's going to hurt you. Okay, okay. Shh, shh. Oh, I know. Alright, alright. Here's our new little naked rat. Marvin. No, that's not his name. I'll, I'll show you with his little cut. Come here. Let me show you. Let me show Dad. There's a little that, but where is it? Oh, right here. Oh no, Ziva, yeah. I can't believe you did that to your new brother. It was probably a bad idea to put them in the cage together so quickly. They were doing pretty well in the box, so I thought that it might be all right, but apparently Ziva felt threatened. Now she's acting a little bit funny. Look how jumpy she is. I feel like how much you can feel how warm he is. Yeah. He's so cute. control. Our goal was to get Ziva a sister so that she wouldn't be lonely. And now we're kind of stuck with two different rats, a male and a female, that really can't be together anyways. What have we done? He was just so cute that once we pulled him out, we knew that we couldn't leave without him. I'm going to let him just kind of hang out wherever he wants to be right now. Yeah, and then the people behind us bought a feeder rat. They just stuck it in a box. And then they wanted to see our little naked rat. And they're like, oh, can we see him? I said, is that your first rat? And they said, no, it's just a feeder rat. We have a snake. Where are you? No, I mean, oh, he's right there. Yeah. Hello. Say hi to the people of YouTube. Say hello. Hi, hey, little buddy. Where are your clothes? Where's your fur? Straight from the nudist colony. Our own naked rat.
he's very friendly. He's not as shy as I would have expected. You could tell that he's had enough human handling that he doesn't feel too uncomfortable around humans. And here comes Katie with the cage. Scrub this out. I just realized that like he's getting like the bigger cage. I, I know. I feel like they're the same width wise, but this one's like taller because it's got that whole extra level. But these okay, bars are smaller, okay. so I feel better about him being right. in here. Even though he can't fit through that other one. Easier to clean. So now they both have their own cages. This is our second child. We're thinking about naming him Ari because Ari is Ziva's brother. Yes, you're a good little Ari. You look right at me. You love me. You're gonna be a mama's boy. Yes, you are. You're gonna be sitting in dad's pocket while he's playing video games. He, he's already got his own gaming chair. Look at your little whiskers. He's so chill. So scraggly and cute. Look at patchy beards. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are twins. How cute is that? I like Ari. He's so little. Hi Ari. You having a good bath there? Getting nice and clean? But Tiva, you can't kill your brother in this outcome, okay? Oh, wow. You don't got much to clean there, bud. I finally got my own little, little man to call Bud here. That's what I call Pirate. My little Bud. You know, what you eating? His first yogi. Yeah. A little bite sized rat with a bite sized yogi. Do you see how much it's taking him to just take a bite? Look yeah. at that strength. You're gonna like it here, Ari. He's gonna get so fat so quick. Don't overfeed him. We don't need any more fat rats. At least you know their love. Right, Ziva? You're not fat. You're so not we're fat. probably going to have to get him neutered so that he could stay with the female, which is Ziva. Or we get another female and get another male and no one needs to get neutered. But then we'd have four rats. So this is how his cage is shaping up. He's got a paper towel roll. He's got some fillings from a monthly makeup subscription box. <laughs> he's got a wheel, and then he's got a mixture of two different types of bedding. And then some nest making materials. Oh yeah, he'll be good. Oh, look at you. He's full now. Or did he eat the whole, oh no, he no. still has it in his hand. This is what we've got going on. We have Ziva and Ari. Because if you watch NCIS, you know that Ziva has a brother named Ari. And now she does in this house as well. So they're kind of hanging out in separate cages, but getting the sense of each other. They're both so cute, aren't they? This is the setup we have right now. Sorry about the, the lack of light. We just have a colored light in here. And even the white light doesn't look great. It's not very bright. So we have that cage and we have that cage. So tomorrow, we're gonna take Ziva, this little girl right here, and we're gonna put her in this big cage with her brother Ari. And they'll get to know each other on neutral territory. But they both had sort of busy, traumatic days today, so they're gonna just calm down and relax. And tomorrow, I'll, I'll film them meeting up with each other in the new cage here and we'll finish the video up there it's the next morning and the rats have spent the night across from each other in two separate cages but it looks like they're acclimating to each other a little bit better I think that they're gonna be friendly once they 
get to be together today. Hello, Siva. Hello, Siva. Hi, how are you? Look at her, look how excited she is. What is that? What is that? And then we got Ari over here. Hey, little buddy. He spent the night right there in that corner on the second floor of the cage. And Ziva spent the night in that corner. So they were kind of right next to each other all night. So we just introduced them into the cage together. I think Ziva's freaking out a little bit because she's probably worried that this is going to be her new home. Not realizing that her other cage is still right there waiting for her. So she gets nervous. Hey buddy. What are you doing up there? Hi babies. Hi babies. She's not trying to climb out of this cage. Here we go. There you go. 